you can see more of the new the new loader texture that's a bit bigger. I'd say they're probably going to have to do something about that before the game releases. That's quite funny, though. Hello. I am back. Second video in one day. I try not to do that. But, apparently, I just found out last night that the open beta for ATS version 1.36 is now out. Um, this paint job is not part of it, by the way. I just felt like using it. <laughs> um, now, it's actually been out since last Thursday. The problem is, my work week starts on Thursday and ends on Sunday, so... I didn't find out about it until last night, just before I went to bed. So, yeah, I know this video is a bit late, but I'm here. I forgot to turn my lights on. Um, and we're going to be checking out some of the new stuff. And this update, honestly, is a bit of a whopper. I feel like I said that weird. Anyway, it adds mini things. Now, you'll sometimes have updates that you're, like, super excited for, like, or I do at least. Like the 134, or what, what was it that added trailer ownership? Was it 132? Whichever one that was. We knew that trailer ownership was coming, so we were super excited for that update. And then I think 134 or 135, one of the two, was supposed to be really big, and it was adding all sorts of new features, so we were super excited for that one. This one, it was kind of just meh. I mean, it can happen when it happens, but I'm not like holding my breath for it. But now it's here, and there's quite a lot to unpack. First of all, SCS actually mentioned on their blog, which I'll link, um, that this is the gateway patch for Utah, which means that should be coming soon. I'm thinking end of October, beginning of November area, which is exciting. They haven't officially announced that yet, though. Um, the other thing it adds, well, first of all, I haven't look, I've looked at a little bit of it, just to make sure I know how it works. I haven't looked at this. There are two new ownable trailers and one new trailer that isn't ownable. So if we go over here, these are all standard. There's one and there's the other. Folk Feed and Grain Hopper. The Grain Hopper's exciting. I like Grain Hoppers. And I believe that that's it over here. Yep. So I'll run through a quick modification of both of these so you can see what's available on them. This is a cool looking trailer. So I believe this these are both farm type of trailers, aren't they? And there's a spread axle and three axles. And oh. Oh okay, so there's some decent options with this one. I like that. I think I'm gonna go with the spread axle. Um I am gonna say this might be a somewhat long video. I don't know yet. Oh, now that I like. That I quite like. I'm going to make it black to go in my truck, but that that is cool to be able to do that. And you can have some more lights. I really wish that there'd be more uh, trailer options. They're kind of pitiful at the moment, I feel. Like, just even with, like, the box trailers that you can do quite a lot of modification on, there's still not much you can do. Yeah, I like the fancy lights, why not? Oh, you can't... Okay, now, excuse me, but on a farm trailer, you should definitely be able to get mud flaps right here. I feel. On the spread axle. That's a bit of a... And that's it, apparently. Yeah, this, this trailer has, like, no modification. I might as well have modded in my ability to own this. It also does not look the greatest on flat top. Good to know. Well, that's that trailer. So I'm gonna get that. And then... We also have the grain hopper. Let's go look at that one. Now this one... Yes, look at all the chain types. Ooh, there's a proper B-double Ooh. Oh, 
now this is exciting here. I'm gonna go with a regular single though. Um, oh. Well, it's not really a hopper if it's belt driven though, is it? Because the whole thing with the hopper is it's a hopper. It looks like this one. Yeah, I don't think you can have a belt driven smaller one. Which is disappointing. Alright, so we got 28 feet, 28 feet, two axle. Ooh! Now that's interesting. A tandem axle 28 foot trailer. That's something you don't see often. 40 feet, which is the standard, and then 50 feet. That's the big one. And interesting, you can't get a 50 foot with a standard axle configuration. I guess that makes sense. I'm going to get the little tiny one because I think it's cute. I don't know why, but I like small trailers with two axles. And I'm also going to make this black so it goes with my truck again. Oh. Oh. Hold on. So this one, the front wall is just white. But this one, you can change the... Okay, well, that's interesting. All right, and the tarp is going to be blue. Like, yes. Now, this trailer has some decent... Mod I mean, it's still not great, but it it's better than the other one. Oh, look at all the lights. Many lights. I'm going to chrome... Yep, chrome your door. And... Ooh. Now, this is annoying, because I actually like the circular lights better, but I want these. And then, just do the same thing with the rooms that I did on the other trailer. I know I'm boring. But this is just to show you what sort of stuff you can do with it. Oh, yeah, there aren't any... aren't any new rooms, so I'm going to make sure. That's the sort of thing that they just add in without telling you about. So anyway, so those are the two trailers. That's the one I'm going to pull first, so if I didn't put my truck... Oh. <laughs> my little location thing made me think I'd already selected the garage, or like pre-selected it. There we go. So that's all that. And now, another new feature that I'm not entirely sure exactly how this works. But a lot of people have been requesting to be able to see your drivers in the real world. I'm not sure if that's been added or not. We're going to experiment with that later. What I am sure of is the game now tracks your driver's positions. So if you go into the driver manager, you now have a map view. And look, it even shows where I am. I can click on myself. And you can click on all your drivers and it shows the route they're on. That's a long run, isn't it? Uh, anyway, so it shows the route they're on, and it shows all the pictures, and if they're a bunch together, it spreads out. Look at that. That's brilliant. And... He's actually coming towards me, isn't he? And the other thing I noticed is, I want to say that this is... I, I feel like earlier when I was looking at it, I saw one of the drivers actually move, but I might have it might have just been I hovered over it. And it spread out like that. So I'm not sure about that one. Like I said, I'm not really sure how all this works yet. Now, the other interest... So this was in the patch notes. What wasn't, which quite interests me, is that you can do the same thing with the truck manager. And once again, if they're all close together, it spreads out. So I believe the yellow one is me. The red ones don't have anyone in it, and then I assume the different colors here have to do, well, actually, let's just, yeah, there you go. That shows you what they all are. Yeah, so I think that that's really, this because this is going to add a lot to, like, the company ownership side of things, I feel like, or at least make you feel more like the real owner. And does the trailer manager have one too? Oh, it does. Oh, now that's legit. Alright, what about 
the garage manager already had a map view. Was it updated any? No, th this just looks the same. What about the garage purchase? Does that look any different? Nope. And I already have all the garages on this profile. I'm actually using a my multiplayer profile right now because this version of the game now actually uses a different save state. So I didn't want to mess up my saves in my mod profile just yet. Um, so SCS advised backing up your profile before you go into the beta. I should have said that earlier on. But yeah, so that's all that stuff. <clears throat> what I want to find out now <clears throat> is whether this driver tracking means that you can actually see your drivers in the game world. I don't think it does, but it might be the gateway to it. Because now that the game is tracking the driver's location, it'll be easier for them to implement them actually showing up if they don't already. So that's what we're going to go find out now. But first, I'm going to go and uh, get... That's the bulk feed trailer. There's the grain hopper. I'm going to get this. I love tiny trailers with two axles. I don't know why. Right. Yes. <laughs> now, the other big thing about this update is that as of 1.36, DirectX 9 is no longer supported at all. So, from here on in this video, I'm going to have an FPS counter up which is going to be the game's FPS counter. If you don't know how to bring that up, you need the developer console like I have here. And you just type in first G underscore minicon space one. So that brings up the mini console. And I already have my FPS counter turned on, but you can see it at the top left up there. If you don't have yours turned on, you just go back into here and you type in G underscore FPS. And then you'd put space one. Oh, G isn't supposed to be capitalized. You'd put in space one, but mine's already on one. So that's how you do all that. Now, I want to say when recording, I got... Anywhere between 10 and 20 frames, depending on how populated the area I was in was. So we're going to be watching and seeing what my frame rate does now we're on DirectX 11 officially. And I will say that I can see some visual differences with this. Um, the impact's not going to be the greatest on my older system, but if you have a high-end gaming computer, it's probably going to look really good. Because it already looks better just on my computer, so... So let's go see. I believe I should have had a driver in the southern part of Roswell somewhere. Um, that would be coming towards where I am now. So let's see if they actually populate in the real world. And that's not the button I wanted to hit. It'd be cool if we could see them on the regular map. Oh, another thing that we'll be checking out in a minute is a couple of cities were rebuilt. It was... Which cities were it? I want to say Carson... I might have to go back and look. <laughs> Santa Cruz was one. I do remember that. Santa Cruz was rebuilt, though it doesn't look like... Like, yeah, there are slight differences, but... And then one other, I think it might have been Carson City. I am almost certain it was Carson City. We'll be going and looking at those in a minute. Though, so, see, because all the roads are highlighted. So I'm not, I don't remember this road being here, though. I'll have to go back and look at that and confirm it later in the video. But for right now, I'm trying to see where 
I want to know what truck that other driver is supposedly driving. This one. Okay, so he's actually down in Artesia. And he is heading towards Bakersfield. According to this, it'll be coming through Roswell. So if I head south, I should see him coming north. And he is driving the purple and black Kenworth with many things on it. In fact, now I think about it, that truck's probably illegal in multiplayer now. So I should probably get rid of it. Because they have to keep adding new rules and being all bothersome. Oh, look at all the brake lights. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. I quite like having those lights at the top. So I wish I could have those be like a separate accessory to the lights at the bottom. Because I'd rather the circular lights looks wise. But then... Uh, shifting in... I don't, I don't have enough hands. Alright, there was a bit of a jump there. Alright, now we're coming into the slightly busier part of the city. Let's see how the frame rate does. Darn these lights. Alright, you know what? This video is going to be three hours long if I keep following traffic rules. I do apologize, but I'm trying to show stuff off here. Burn out of gears. Now, while we're on our little merry drive, let me explain the reason why I don't suspect... I think this truck should be able to do better than this. I mean, it's got the 13 speed, but still. Anyway, the reason I don't suspect we can see our drivers on the actual road yet. And the reason is because of the way... Or at least the way the game used to load AI vehicles. Um... I'm not really going to go into explaining how it did so, but basically having custom vehicles was a bit difficult because all the AI trucks had their own set models. That's why you never saw custom ones. So unless they reworked that, um, which I would say they didn't because we're now in Artesia and I haven't seen my truck yet. Um... It would be extremely difficult to have the truck show up properly, basically. Yeah, so if I now just look at my driver map... Can I zoom in on this? What if you're not? So supposedly, he and I are pretty close. It looks like he's gone north of me now just a bit. So he does appear to be driving quite slowly.
But as you can see, he doesn't appear to actually be showing up on the real road just yet. Which, I gotta say, even though I wasn't expecting him to, it is still a bit disappointing. Oh, look at that! That's new. That trailer spawning in traffic is new, because... That's a new cargo, too, isn't it? I don't have any mods in right now. The only mod I have in is the one for my truck's paint job. So, let's go see if there's a new cargo for that trailer, then. And I can also show off the other new trailer. Let's just do, let's do like this. All the standard stuff. Anything new for the flatbed? Oh, of course. It's different types of trailers with the same load. Got it. The concrete tubes, fertilizer, hay, hash we have. Square tubing. Oh, okay. I don't think there's anything new for the flatbed. Um. What about the log trailer, actually? Because there is a different cargo for logs. There's a one with short logs that you can't see in this, apparently. New car load? I'm just checking all of the open trailers at this point. There it is. Alright, so this is the other new trailer that's not ownable, because there's not really any reason to own this sort of trailer unless you own a construction company, which we as players in this game do not. Oh, I guess they're different. Oh my goodness, that is bright. So there you go, that, that's the new trailer. I'm sorry, my voice has started to flatten out a bit. <laughs> and I believe that that trailer will spawn in traffic as well, but I'm not positive about that. Where is the regular low boy? Dang. Crawler tractor, backhoe, oh! Oh yeah, there are new cargoes, look at that! There's a backhoe, there's a big bulldozer, there's a less big bull- this is a very low detail bulldozer, I feel like. Wait, what, what, what the- what is going on there? The track's like not- is the track supposed to be not showing up? Because the- I'd say these aren't finished yet, because- this is a bit low res, and there aren't any straps on it. Was the backhoe the same way? No, the backhoe looks like it's finished. Yeah, I don't think that bulldozer's quite finished yet. Cable reel, forwarder, harvester, those are all not new. Those aren't new. Hold on a second. Sorry to sort of interrupt myself, but the harvester actually is new. I was in editing, and I was like, wait a minute, harvester? Because... When I saw it at first, I thought it was, like, Log Harvester or something. But that's down here, actually. That's the Log Harvester. So there's also now a regular Harvester for, like, harvesting crops. And I just noticed that it's clipping into the trailer slightly. But it, this model does appear to be mostly finished. And is also exciting. And I just wanted to come back and point that out real quick. I don't think the... No, that's not new. Tech part, helicopter, water drip before tank, nope. Service boat, scraper. I don't feel like being able to haul a scraper is new, but that scraper looks different to me. Does that scraper look different to anyone else? I feel like it used to be called something else. Giant silo is not new. Stumper is not new. Transformer is definitely not new. And the wheel loader. Nice. So it looks like the bulldozer is the only unfinished model. But that's that's nice that we have more just normal cargoes for this. But yeah, that... Where'd it go? The scraper. I swear that does not look... That, it used to be bigger, didn't it? I don't know, I'll have to go back and look at one of my old videos, see if I feel like that looks different. 
Of course, the mobile barrier. I don't suppose there are any new trucks. Nope, just many colors of the C680. And that's it. Oh, does this have paint jobs? Oh, it does. Cool. So that's all that. Um, I guess let's go get the new cities. All right, so this is coming into Santa Cruz as normal. And, well, this intersection definitely looks a bit different. Because that didn't used to be a left turn lane. Oh, look at the road signs. The street signs on the... I still don't have enough hands for this. So let's see, uh, different road texture. That area definitely looks a bit different. So it looks like it's like a similar layout. It's just there's more stuff. Look at this! I didn't know what to expect from this. This is obviously a completely new prefab. And the, look, it says delivery over here. I wonder if at some point we might... Well, actually, we might be able to deliver cargo to this place. We just can't pick cargo up from it. Potentially. Now, a prefab like this could be quite useful in Logrunner, I'd say. That's quite cool. Oh, and of course, the other thing that they tend to add in updates and not tell anyone about is new AI vehicles. Which so far, I've really been paying attention, but I also haven't seen any. Yeah, so, oh, I'd say what they've done here is they haven't necessarily rebuilt it the way they did, like, Tonopah. What they've done is, um, make it look to the same quality as, um, the newer states, like Oregon and Washington. It looks closer to that same quality. And honestly, yeah, I think it, like it's a very small detail because you can see on the map how much of the roads are still the same. But it looks quite different, or it feels quite different driving around. Can I go into this parking lot? Dang. Well, you know what? I'm just going to leave my truck here. I'm going to do a little fly around. Obviously, flying around the city is going to be faster than driving around it. Uh, let me see here. There. As you may or may not know from my log dinner series, my mic stand has kind of decided it doesn't want to work properly anymore. So, I usually hold my mic, but I need two hands for this. So yeah, just different road prefabs, different buildings. I think all these houses look a lot more unique used to because there used to only be like three house models in the game so it appears that they've added more for this oh there are people like parasailing without boats it's not parachuting they're sitting down interesting my mic is not cooperating and there's some new parking areas over here Interesting. And... Oh, good. We still have the massive truck stop over here. This actually looks quite similar. But... The whole game does look a lot nicer. I'm guessing that that's the DirectX 11 difference. And let's see if anything's largely different up here. It's disappointing that not all of the uh, traffic lights have, like, road names signs on them. 
this strip definitely looks a bit more realistic than it used to, with having the little gaps in the ro in the median and everything. And what about going up this way? Nice, nice. Everything's just looking a lot prettier in general. Was this always here? I assume this mine was always here and I just didn't go to it very often. That's a new that's a new loader model. As you can see, it doesn't quite fit. That's the same loader that you can carry on the big low boy now. But that's not the loader model that used to be there. So they're like subtly changing certain things just to make the atmospheres feel a little bit more realistic, and I like that. Alright, so let's go and check out the other city that's being revamped. Right, so I was way off. Um, the other revamped city is Flagstaff in Arizona, which is where I am now, if we look at the map. The map loads. There we go. So you can see I'm in Flagstaff. Now, when I went to check and see which the other city was, I was also reminded of something else that I'm not quite sure... Yeah, this. You can add pins... So, originally, say you had a route. So, say I was taking a load to Las Cruces, for example. But I decided, so say I'm a multiplayer, and Bronco needs to pick up a load from Sholo. So, I could just put a pin, and it would send me through Sholo. But now, you can click this, and it'll tell the GPS, no, I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way instead. Look at... That is useful. So say I want to go through Sholo, but I don't want to take Interstate 40 for whatever reason. Just put that there. And it'll send me around the long way. That's actually a lot more useful than I thought it was going to be when I read about it. I'll be honest. So... I don't want to... That's on the wrong side of time. If I don't want to take 10, there, see, it sends me a completely different route, because I just said I don't want to go on Interstate 10. That is awesome. All right, that, that actually, that's a big game changer in my opinion. Anyway, let's go and check out the new and improved Flagstaff. And once again, I'm just going to fly around, because it's quicker, and this video is getting long. <sighs> of course, it means I have to do a mic issues again. Alright, so I'm currently sitting at the same old truck stop we all know and love. And... Didn't there used to be train tracks here? Oh! Oh, the tracks are on that side now. Or where they are... I am... Remembering correctly, right? The tracks used to be on the other side of the... I don't know. Once again, I have to go back and look at one of my old videos. But they've actually updated these tracks because they didn't used to uh, run actual trains. They ran the little movers that we used to have. So anyway, so that's that. There's new signs. I wonder if the road texture's just been updated. Into oh. oh, now that's a train station. And I don't think that used to be there. That is very pretty. It's a very picturesque building, isn't it? And yeah, just... So just like uh, the other one that I was just at. San, uh, Santa Cruz, that's the one. It's not really... Like, they didn't completely remodel it, because it was already decently accurate, I assume. Uh, they just made it look prettier and more realistic. Yeah, so we have actual road signs now. And just, pro like, newer prefabs. And all sorts of stuff like that. There's this big shopping center over here, it looks like. Oh, the museum club. Okay, I assume that wasn't there before. I wonder if you can actually drive in there. You should be able to. I'll be, I'll be disappointed if you can. And... Oh, interesting. So, hold on. 
This used to be a... This used to be a Peterbilt dealer, didn't it? Ginger. Ginger. Stop. Stop touching on my chair. Sorry, kitten problems. Uh, yeah, I almost could have sworn this was a Peterbilt dealer before. So now it's the trunk. So I wonder if the cities that used to have two service stations because one was a dealer, if they're just replacing the dealer with these now. Or if it's just in the new cities. Or the revamped cities. Ginger! Stop it! No, I'm not gonna pet you when you're scratching on my chair. Ugh. And... Uh, it, you can see more of the new... The new loader texture that's a bit bigger. I'd say they're probably going to have to do something about that before the game releases. That's quite funny, though. And, yeah, I think... Oh, okay. I thought this was a new uh, new prefab over here. I think that's about it. Um, that motel looks a bit different. See, I wish what they'd do is, like, as the game continues to get updated, have some of these older construction sites that have been in since the beginning of the game, uh, like, slowly get completed. Which, honestly, there might be more of a building here than there used to be, I'm not sure. But I just think that would be really cool. So as time goes on, the game map evolves, and eventually there'd be a proper building here and it wouldn't be a pickup point anymore. I think that'd be really neat. But yeah, so I think that that covers just about everything for this beta. So, obviously they're not going to have said when the official update's going to come out, but it's not going to be too long, and it seems that it's going to be coming along with Utah, so... We might be getting a new state in a couple weeks. But until then, this is what we have, and honestly, there's a lot of stuff to be excited about here. And I'd say the DirectX 11, like, originally I was worried about it, because I was worried it would lead to performance loss for people on older systems, such as myself. But I don't think it really has. I think for the most part my performance is pretty much the same, if not a bit better. So that's a good thing. Um, and yeah. I'm really liking the improvements that are going into the game at this point. And I'm just going to say it right now. To my knowledge, the open beta for ETS2 is not out. But when it does come out, they're adding a new island to the France DLC. So if you have that, exciting. If you don't have it, that's a reason to get it. But until that does come out, thank you for watching, and I will catch you later on.